Hello everyone and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to be drawing one of my favorite characters uh, recent of recent times, uh, BB-8 of the Star Wars Galaxy. Uh, the reason why I want to draw BB-8 with you guys today is that I showed you a few weeks ago how to draw a sphere. And so BB-8 of course is composed of two spheres. Well, let's call it a sphere, one sphere, and a half of sphere for his head. Um, so this should be an easy drawing to do and a lot of fun and once it's complete you'll be able to understand how to, you know, build things from spheres. Let's give it a go, shall we? All right. Let's begin with a sphere or a circle. Everyone can draw a circle. It's quite simple. From this circle we're going to attach, or on top of the circle, attach his head. Now you can place it at any angle you would like, straight on top, a little bit to the side, a little bit to left or right. And I'm going to erase this edge here with my new fandangled electric eraser. I know, this is the lazy man's tool. I love it. I got it as a present. It's the, it fits your hand perfectly. It's got a button on the top here that you can press and make it buzz like that. It's awesome. I love this tool. It's a lot of fun. But if you don't have one, that's all right. You can use your basic eraser at home to do the same job I am with my electric eraser. I just want to save a bit of time here. And so we're going to add BB-8's main eye, and then he has a secondary uh, s camera here, and then we're going to erase this line down here too. Don't really need that. It's kind of in the way. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. All right, um, then we're going to draw a circle here on his right side. It's so, sort of like an oval shape, and the front is a little bit more circle shaped. Remember, both of these edges need to be parallel, right? Um, those lines I just drew are just to show you that they need to be parallel. Both circles need to be parallel. These here, however, are uh, welded edges to BB-8's body shape. There's an orange line at the bottom here, and there should be another one here at the top underneath his head that we barely can see. And we're going to get rid of these uh, parallel lines. We don't really need those. They were just to show you where the circles should start and end. And if you have a regular eraser, you can do just like me. Erase those lines by hand. And then we're going to color the inside of this. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, thought so. My lead is too short, so it's not going to come out anymore. See, look at that. Look at that, eh? That's not going to work. So we're going to need to replace this lead. I love these uh, mechanical pencils that are a lot of fun, but you need to add these little guys here. I'm going to take uh, a few out of here. I'm going to take uh, one, get another one, two, three, all right, we're gonna fill our pencil with this. Um, usually you can just pop out the eraser out of there, but my eraser's too short, so I'm gonna just put them through the hole here. Concentrate here, and push it through the hole there. I mean, the, the best way is to go through the eraser, but uh, at this, in this case, I would have to use a tool such as, as an X-Acto knife or something to pop the eraser out. But, so to save time, I'm just gonna go right through the feeder here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Works perfect. Pop, pop, pop. Boom. Back in. Like you see it may, may be better here. All right. Now we can do our entire drawing. We're going to color in this lens. This for sure is a camera lens. We're going to make this a nice dark color. And remember the lens has a curved surface. So we need to give the uh, idea uh, while using tones here by coloring it in of volume. A, a rounded shape. So BB-8 in this case has lots of rounded shapes, lots of volume. It's a lot of fun to, to color and draw in. And I'm going to use my eraser here to create a reflection of the top of this lens. There we go, just like that. Very good. This smaller lens, what I'm going to do, because it's much smaller, I'm going to just leave that area white. So I'm going to color around it and leave the white space in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure my eraser would be too fat and would probably erase the whole uh, lens there, so that would be a bad idea. All right, that's coming along well. Now let's retrace the contour of his head a little bit darker here. Um, I've decided this time around for this video to not accelerate anything. So the videos will be in real time for everyone to be able to follow along. You won't need to pause, uh, nothing's in fast forward, so you'll be able to draw exactly at the same time as I am. Uh, of course, I might be quicker. I have a bit more experience, so that's normal. Uh, but, you know, just draw at your pace. And if you have to pause the video, hit the pause button on YouTube. 
That's what this is all about. It's a lot of fun thanks to that. I'm going to draw the stitching line here for his camera. And yes, I can talk with my mouth closed. Look at that. Magic. Um, in actuality, what it is is that because I record these videos uh, in both in French and in English, I record the audio on top. By the way, speaking of top, this is where the light's coming from. So we need to make the shading of BB-8 be uh, coming from the bottom of his body and his head. So it needs to be darker down here like this. And we're using a gradient, which means that the top part of his head will be bright. And as we go down towards the bottom of his head, we need to make it darker and darker. Same will be done for his body. I'm going to retrace this line. So as I was saying, because I record the videos both in French and in English, I'd rather do some voiceovers. And rather than have to redo the entire video, you know, not, not only the, the voice, but also talking. Um, that's the same thing, right? Voice and talking. But recording the drawing and talking on top of it in both languages, that would require way too much time. So that's why in this video, you don't see me talk at all, except for the beginning and the end. All right, so we're going to add the details to this interior circle here. And you can hear some email coming in in the background there. So here we go. Draw this little line. It's like a cog shape in there. Retrace this outline. And then these things are sort of like a uh, dark orange. And inside here there are dark, very dark parts to his uh, design. So we're going to trace the contour line of this here and color that in in a nice dark shade. So this can be pretty much the same tone throughout. Um, I suspect that when the light hits this portion, it's not going to vary too much on the color scale of this piece of his body part. So this piece of his body, we'll just keep that all in the same tone and then this little rectangular piece here uh, can be a little bit darker perhaps as it's starting to curve away from the light on his body. Now let's add another one here for good measure. All right. I hope your BB-8 is coming along well. I think mine is coming along swimmingly, swimmingly, I say. Um, we're going to color this portion here, which is a dark orange. And as I'm moving towards the bottom of this section, I'm going to apply a bit more pressure to my pencil so that you may see a gradient occur from top to bottom, just like that. And you remember the light is rolling off the body and we're hitting the body and continuing on a straight path, which means that there's a, a portion of this uh, that'll be dark, well, darker than the, the other. There's a little trap door here that we'll put in there. Who knows, maybe there's a screw in there that we can remove and do something to BB-8. Maybe it's this power on button, who knows. I'm going to darken this different part, add a double line here to the welded area where two armored parts come together uh, or, or body pieces. I love these mechanical pencils. They save tons of time. Notice you might notice me tapping the, the e at the end there, pressing the button to have the lead come out a bit more. You know, I, I have to say, and I'm going to tell everybody openly that I'm in love with the person that invented the push pencil or the mechanical pencil. Thank you, man or woman, whoever you were, are, I should search online. If you know, you can put them in my YouTube comments, you know, at the bottom. But, um, you know, love these mechanical pencils. Fantastic. So the light's coming from on top here, and we need to do the shading to his head. So uh, we're going to shade a curved line underneath the head piece here. And it's going to be really dark where the head touches the body. So imagine where, imagine where the neck would be. It's going to be inside there. Nice and dark in here. And then add some nice gradient all the way to not so much a vanishing point. You don't want the, the color to just fade. Uh, and we're going to, uh, you know, create another gradient curve from this point down. 
nice light tone and then getting into darker and darker as we go along. Uh, you can add different layers so this is a different technique where you can add one layer on top of another and every pass is a bit darker and so this is a cool way of doing things too. And remember guys and girls this is your drawing you do it the way you want to. Some purists out there will say well you know BB-8 isn't really like that. Um, uh, my answer to that is I don't care. I, I draw BB-8 the way I want BB-8 to be, the way I feel like drawing him, um, as long as he's recognizable or that he is, you know, part of that kind of uh, robot family, uh, then fantastic. If you can recognize him, hey, you know, that's fantastic job you guys did. So don't worry about naysayers and whatever else. Uh, go ahead and draw. Have fun, you know. Draw till your heart's content. Just draw this thing and do it the way you want to. If you want to color them blue and pink, then make BB-8 blue and pink. If you want to put squares instead of circles on his body, then do that. You know, this is your drawing, and that's what's cool about this uh, pastime, if you can call it that. Uh, do whatever you want. Invent, invent, invent. We need very smart people out there, very imaginative people, imaginative people so drawing will do that to you. All right, this whole section here will be a nice dark color. Color that all in. Uh, it's going to have to be a little bit darker than that uh, contour circle. All right. And uh, we're going to color the details, the decals, I guess, to his head here. He's got a colored lines on the top of his head. We're going to color those in. And uh, we're going to give his head a little bit of a, a tone here as well, and the entire body. And it's coming along. I think our next step is to play around with uh, background here. Make the bottom of the body a bit darker. Give it a bit more volume, right? The, the whole key to spheres, or for your circle to look like a sphere, is those sh that gradient shading. It gives it a nice look. All right, so let's see, make this a bit darker. You know, sometimes as I draw, I look around the drawing and I figure maybe this needs to be a bit darker and I'm playing with the, the contrast to the drawing here, so adding a bit more detail left and right. A little bit darker here underneath the head. Look at that, that's coming out along, that's coming along real well. I'm happy with my BB-8. Okay, so I'm going to create movement lines with my electric eraser here. You can use your pencil eraser, your white eraser. I just want to look like, have it look like BB-8 is moving forward. And luckily my hand is, you know, smudging the paper. So I can use that. Now for the background, backgrounds back there, um, create the sense of depth and give more richness to your drawing. So I'm going to add some background here, uh, ground and, you know, We've seen, the first time we saw BB-8 was in uh, the desert, technically. Uh, so we're going to draw a desert scene here in the background. So all we need to do is create a shading underneath or sh uh, cast shadow of the character, fill that in. Okay, I'll admit uh, cast shadow is a bit big, <laughs> but you know, uh, we'll say his cast shadow gained weight, but I don't feel like redoing, I don't feel like erasing that, even though I have a good electric eraser. I'm, not, I'm gonna keep that. It's gonna be a cool trick. What I'm going to do is uh, add a few little specks of dust down here and add some uh, smoke or dust coming out of the back just like this because he's kicking up some dust as he's rolling along there. Just like this and then I'll use my electric eraser and you can use your own home eraser whichever you know whatever tool you have and we're going to add some shading on not some shading but some uh, smoke on top of here too, some dust kick up from the, that's sort of hiding the shadow, which looks pretty cool, I think. Sounds like the dentist, doesn't it? <laughs> Plug your ears, those who are afraid of the dentist. Plug your ears. Okay, I'm also going to add a Star Destroyer back here. Um, I think it's got three engines. Well, three big ones, and there are four small ones, so we're going to color this in black. 
this one too. Nice and dark in there, and this one you can barely see this one a little bit. Just a little line. And don't make this section too dark. Um, we want to have it look like it's farther in the background. So we're not going to put too many details to this. If you want to, like I said before, it's your drawing, go ahead, do what you like. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to keep it rather simple with the bridge here at the top. This one isn't like totally exploded. It's just crash landed, I guess. And the, uh, the shield generators at the top. And there are four more little tiny engines. If I'm not mistaken, I should have looked at this online. But anyway, we're going to add little dark patches to this. And we're going to retrace that outline just a little bit, clean that up, and the under part here will be nice and dark. The light doesn't reach this section, so it needs to be dark in there. And we're going to add the neck portion, which hold, which is holding that bridge up. Color that in. And we're practically done here. Let's make this side a little bit darker this side a little bit darker you know just play around with it this is your world you do what, what you like invent what you want remember these field generators are, are um, ovals not ovals but uh, cylinders <laughs> I'm gonna name them all they're spheres too so you need to shade them in the same fashion that you did BB-8 right uh, there has to be a logic within your drawing here somewhat and I think we're gonna put a little bit of a depth to these uh, engines here and make a little like another hole inside there and try to gradient that out all right i think that's about it add a few more details here and there and then let's imagine that clouds are coming in and uh you know these people haven't seen rain in years so after i've put a few of these uh horizontal lines here to give a bit more depth to my drawing. I'm going to add some clouds to the sky. Make believe rain is coming. Draw this in like that. A few more lines here. Okay, and I think we're going to put some clouds kind of up here. Here, right there. Just very, very simple, plain clouds. Not very thick. It is the desert, right? There shouldn't be clouds in the first place, I don't think. But anyway, we're having fun with it. And the last thing, my signature. And there you have it. BB-8 is now complete. Thank you for being with us here at Drawing with Paolo. It was a pleasure drawing with you today. Hope to see you next time on another episode. See you next week. Have a great day. Bye.